what's going on guys welcome back to the channel your boy ace back with another gameplay video so as you guys can see on the screen man i'm jumping right back into some tales of a rise all right so last time we left off guys if you guys remember from the previous gameplay video we were able to find alfin's starship and this is the beautiful starship right behind me here uh it's been here for a couple of years since alfin landed here on planet dana you guys can see the leaves all over the spaceship so yeah man currently we are about to head up through that portal i'm assuming to go to rena which is the planet in the sky so just a little recap of the storyline for you guys so the planet rena is where alfin is from alfin is the guy here that i'm playing with so the renans they've had the danans in slavery for quite a few time now for quite a few years i should say and we're about to you know put an end to it once and for all man so once and for all you know let's go ahead and talk to the members here on the team they got a little star above their heads and we're gonna see what they have to say before we board this monstrosity of a ship here and shoot up to the planet rena so with all that being said man thank you guys as always for all the love and support i do appreciate every single one of you you know who stopped by the channel to chill with your boy when whenever i play these games man it, it really is you know um a passion of mine and 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 you know i wouldn't want to share it with anybody else but you guys so with that being said if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel you know smash that thumbs up button for your boy and turn on bell for post notifications so you guys are aware of when i do upload these fire ass gameplay videos man and with all that being said I'm going to shut up now. Let's go ahead and continue the storyline, guys. All right, so I'm going to start my boy Law right here, man. Let's go. Did you know? You mean about Shion? Yeah, I didn't have the slightest idea. I mean, every once in a while, I thought something seemed a little off, but I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me, and I couldn't even see it. You and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? That's what I thought. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah, you're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her, no matter what. That's yeah, what's up. With all of us together, there's nothing we can't handle. She on the world, we can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey, you're the expert on what my dad would say. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr, I... I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Shion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point. But I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is. All right, guys. So, yeah, Zephyr is Law's dad. He passed away early on in the storyline. Yeah, I think Zephyr would definitely be proud of Law at this point um, in the game. Law is a strong, you know, individual that has the qualities of his dad, Zephyr. And I think Zephyr would definitely give him a pat on the shoulder. So, good job, man. Law is like the, uh, the younger brother that we all, you know, would want. So, let's go over to Kisara, my girl here. How are you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? Yes, he did. That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? That's a fact. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I'm being serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on, and you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her, just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. 
the ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. Mm, that was deep. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I have my own dreams, but a world without her, where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Agreed. You gotta love Kisara, like man. Kisara is, taken from her, is, is that I'm girl. Done with it. I just love Kisara, man. She, hands down, might be my favorite character in this game. She's just so odd. Look at the black armor, though, and look at that. You see, you see that back. Anyway, uh, yeah. So on to Dohali, man. The end of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I believe Shion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes, I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still. It's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the Wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Or well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. Can you blame me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. Gotta love yourself some Dohalim. He is so wise, very poetic, and he's a beast on the combat field, man. Alright, so who else we got? We did Locke, Sara, Dohalim. Obviously, Xion is up on the hill. We'll leave her for last. I'm missing someone, though. Who am I missing? Ah, Rinwell. How can I forget our favorite mage? Can't sleep. After everything we just heard? How could I? Fair enough. Xion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? I'm sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. <laughs> Look at Hoodle back there just flapping its wings. One day too. 
No, I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell? <laughs> Alfin is like, Rinwell? I did not expect this from you. It'd be nice if everyone came together to support each other. Yeah, man, you gotta love Rinwell, man. Like, it's like I'm, I'm proud of everybody on the team. Let's, let's see what Law has to say. Stay focused, Alfin. We've got stuff to do. It's not gonna do anyone good if we let ourselves get overwhelmed by what's going on. Uh, so, I'm gonna make sure there. See, like the chat bubble above Kisara doesn't have a check mark. So let's make sure it does. Let's take back what's been stolen from us. All right, check mark. Let's go back to Dohalim. I wonder what awaits us on the other side once all the pieces have been assembled. All right, check mark. And all right, guys. So that's all of the four other members on the team. Last but not least, let's talk to Xion and see what she has to say. Hey, you doing all right? <laughs> I seem to cause nothing but worry. As much as I try to look like I have things under control, everyone still worries about me. You're not the only one. Hey, do you remember the first time you said I was your friend? Uh, no. When was that? Sorry, I can't remember. That's okay. It came so naturally to you, I'm not surprised you forgot. I was different back then. The Danans were not even people to me, and I knew I would always be alone. But in that room with Deadheim, when you called me your friend, it just shattered the wall that I'd built up around me. Because until that moment, I'd only seen you as a means to an end. Oh, well, I thought damn. of you as a way to use the Blazing Sword, and to obtain the Renis Alma. <laughs> but after that day, one time became two. And before I knew it, you'd made a habit of calling me and Dohalim your friends. It didn't matter that we were Renans. You cared about us as you would any other people. Then, everyone else started to call me their friend too. To think of me as their friend. Before then, I never even dreamed I could have that. I didn't want to die and lose you all. But I also didn't want to live if it meant you would all die in my place. Shion. Yeah, that was, that was deep. But then I realized... I'd only really been thinking of myself that entire time. After saying how I felt, and hearing what you all had to say, I finally understood that. <sighs> Don't worry, it's okay. I'm not planning on dying anymore. I've met too many people along the way who I truly care about to give in now. So I'll fight. For Dana and for myself. I'll fight against my fate to preserve our future, and I'll win, come yes. hell or yes, high water. Yes, sir. Let's go. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I won't let the world end because of me. It's going to be a long, hard road ahead, Xion. Our fight won't be over until everyone, both Danans and Renans, can finally live in peace. But I swear I'll be there with you until the very end. Hey, let's go. Thank you. Remember what we learned back in Calaglia? There's no wall so high that we can't break it down. Yeah, I think you may be right about that. Oh god, this game is so beautiful. Don't you just love these heroic talks? Alright, so everyone returns to the party. Alright, I, I love these heroic talks, man. You can tell the game is about to end 
because everyone seems to have a more full a more fuller understanding of who they are you know everyone well rested then let's go we depart for Lenigus. all right now my thing is this can i go back oh i could fast travel okay all right so i don't necessarily have to go to Lenigus. i could go back to any previous parts of the world all right nice all right let's camp and see if we can um let's rest let's see if we can um have another conversation with one of our teammates. I'm still trying to get the second Mystic Arts for Why everybody, guys. So, cook before resting. No. Oh, we Damn. We'd turn the All right. So there's no chat bubbles. For a change. It's not fair if we're the only ones subjected to it. Well, what? Good All right. Night, let's everyone. sleep. Let's sleep. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm kind of excited to go to Lenigus. A warrior without breakfast is a flower without sunlight. I guess so. That's not a saying. All right, let's go. Well, it's the moment of truth. This lady better hold together once we're up in the air. La, don't say that. You're going to jinx us. I mean, Speaking of which, it's not right for saying that, though. This bucket of bolts got a name? A name? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure she ever had one. I never really thought about it. Well, after all the trouble we went through to find her, we should give her one, right? I was thinking something like... Thaw Nights. Huh? It means owl in the ancient tongue. Literally, the one drawn to the skies. Okay, Rinwell. It. Sounds perfect for our little escapade. Not sure I'm completely convinced, but well, oh, you a hater. As good a name as any. Law From is hating. Should be known as the Fall Knights. Okay, people, we have two goals. First, we need to get to Lenigus and make the Renans finally leave Dana alone. And then we need to figure out the truth behind Shion's thorns and find a way to save her. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, and let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, will Fall Knights fly to Rena? Will it make the trip? Let's find out. Oh boy. Okay, everything seems good. We dust off the vines and everything. Hey, okay, looks good to me. At that speed, I think we should be okay. Imagine having a starship like that, though. Go in and out of space whenever you want. That'd be cool. You know, I can still hardly believe it. Believe what? I mean, just look at it. The whole of existence crammed inside a tiny frame. Now that you mention it, I guess you're right. It does look more like a painting than a living, breathing world. From up here, all the struggles we've been through feel so insignificant. Nothing like realizing how small you are to put everything into perspective. Kind of makes the differences between the Renans and the Danans feel pretty small too, huh? That's facts. How much longer until we reach Lenigus? There are better ways to use your time than napping. We should take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the facilities on board before arrival. Good idea. The Starship may end up serving as our base of operations once we're down there. Think you'll be alright with the controls? You mean the ones set to automatic pilot? I dare say I'll manage. I'm basically just here to supervise. You In gotta case, love Dohalim. She's all yours. You gotta love Dohalim. Dohalim is like, bro, I'm really not doing that much work. The ship Everything is okay on here? autopilot. You seem a little different. Different? Like in a bad way different? No, not at all. You seem more driven lately. Like you found a zest for life. It suits you. This reminds me, being in this airship, reminds me of being in the airship in Final Fantasy X2. You get a, a ship with Yuna, Riku, and Pain. This kind of reminds me of that moment. Hmm. The 
noticed something wrong? No. I was merely thinking how it had been seven years, that's all. You mean since you became a lord and left Lenigus? I guess even someone like you can get homesick, huh? I am as prone to sentimentality as any other. Tell me, though. You too have a history with Lenigus. A traumatic one, no less. This trip will probably mean facing up to some difficult emotions. Doesn't that frighten you? Well... It is a place where I took the lives of countless people. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But I can't keep running forever. The past is what it is. There's no changing that. But the future's what we make it. I see. Dohalim? Forgive me. I was wrong to pry. We have more pressing matters to address. Come back and speak to me when you finish looking around the ship. Will do, will do. This is what Shion has to say. We'll be going to Lenigus soon. This must feel like a homecoming of sorts to you, huh? What was life on Lenigus like back then? You know, before you came to Dana. Let's just say I don't have many happy memories. I've had thorns my whole life. For as long as I can remember. They called it treatment. But in truth, they were just using me as a guinea pig for their research. You mean, they experimented on you? That's right. All I was to them was a riddle to solve. They poked and prodded me, trying to figure out what triggered my thorns or changed the form they took. Day in and day out, every single day, one test after another. I'm still surprised they didn't try to dissect me. The look they gave me whenever one of them touched my skin. How could I forget it? Reeling from the pain, like I was a monster or something. Sounds like rape to me. Some existence, huh? A blight on any I touched. Helplessly complicit in their pain. I thought things couldn't get any worse. But then they did. I started to have nightmares. Visions of the coming apocalypse. <sighs> Is it any wonder I lacked a cheery disposition? Unable to so much as touch another soul. Loneliness was my best friend. Sure, I survived, but with the knowledge that one day I'd be swallowed up by oblivion. That's when it hit me. If I was going to die, then it should mean something. If I have to sacrifice myself to save the world, so be it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you relive that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll finish so passionate. Better place now. You say it's your destiny or should to I say die compassionate. so can live. But why not the other way around? Why shouldn't we be the ones dying to save you? Uh, are you crazy? Why would you sacrifice your life for... That's exactly my point. Why should you have to give up your life just because you drew the short straw in the destiny stakes? How is that even right? It's that logic that's used to justify slavery. As if some of us were just meant to be sacrificed. This struggle was never about saving only ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have to give up our own lives to save everyone else's either. If we're doing this to protect people, if we're doing this to save the world from destruction, then that has to include saving each other as well. A world free of sacrifice. That's what you've been fighting for all along, isn't it? Not just me. We're in this together, remember? This fight is yours too, Xion. If we're going to win, everyone has to win. There can be no room for losers in this fight. Now I see it. The true nature of our struggle. A victory without losers. But that means that a Danon victory over Rena can't be the end. Do you think we can pull it off? You bet we can pull it off. We have to. It's the only hope we have of things ever changing. Yeah, you're right. No one's ever changed the future without aiming for the stars. We can do this together. Let's go, yo. This cast is getting me hyped right now with all this talking. Let's go. You have livestock that has reached maturity. I'm way, way, way far ahead, far away from home right now. That's my, my animals that I'm raising on the farm, people. That's back on Dana. Um, We'll get back to that when we land. Look at these two talking. Yo, they... they I know y'all like each other, man. There's like a lot of romance here. Hey, Alvin, listen to this. So Law and I were just talking and... Hey, shut up! What's got Law all flustered? 
Only that he's afraid of flying, the big baby. And after all that fuss he made about naming the ship, too. Hey, I never said I was scared. I just think it's, you know, a little unsettling how we're going to be cruising through space in a glorified tin can. That's all. It's a starship, dummy. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't think there's anything strange about it. Well, maybe you're the one with the problem then. Guys, guys. They're arguing like I'm a no couple. I'm expert, but I think we can trust Ren and technology. It got me to Dana in one piece, remember? Oh, that's a good point. If you think so, Alpin, it must be okay. Don't you agree, Law? Hard to argue with that, seeing how you hitched a ride in one of these things before, Alfin. It's just wrong, okay? This man is just miserable. All right. Are you still worried? No. Why would you think that? <laughs> Yo, this guy. All right, so Law's afraid of flying, everybody. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the ship. I think Kisara is the last member we have to talk to. Whoa, this ship is kind of big, though. But there's like a lot of rooms with nothing in it. Kisara! You okay? Feeling airsick? Actually, now that you mention it, not at all. These starships are a remarkably smooth ride, all things considered. Nothing like being at sea, thank goodness. Glad to hear it. That device there caught your eye, huh? I was just wondering what it is. It looks big enough to fit a person inside of it. It's a healing pot. It fixes injuries and illnesses. Oh, you don't say. I'm not surprised. That should definitely come in handy if any of us get injured while we're down there. <sighs> Alfin? Was it something I said? No, I... Uh, I was just thinking back to when I escaped Lenigus, that's all. What with the ceremony and losing control, I was a total mess. Nayori laid me inside here. So, you're saying you got in this thing straight after escaping? But that mean... You were inside for 300 years? Yes, it sounds crazy, I know. But... Don't even ask me why I stayed asleep all that time. That's definitely quite some lion, all right. But still, whether you meant to or not, I sure am glad that it's this century that you finally woke up in. What do you mean? With the amount of fighting we've done, we would have never made it this far without you. Oh, that's nice. And not only that, but... Alfin, can you recall back to what it is that I said to you? Back when we left Menencia? About the dream of coexistence and needing to learn what it entailed? Of course. That's why you came with us, right? To learn what you couldn't at home. Even in that time, I was well aware that what I was living was a lie. But at the same time, I also felt really compelled to fulfill my brother's wishes. I'll always remember him fondly. But the coexistence we're fighting for isn't for him. <clears throat> it's for people now, and those still to come. The world's bigger than just men and Sia. My dream is for all Danans, wherever they might be, to be free. If I've learned anything on this journey, it's that. And the one who brought me along was you, Alfin. I'll forever be grateful to you. Oh, that's so nice. Well, we're not out of this She's given Alfin his props. You should probably save your thanks. At least, until we've dealt with the Red Woman. I know. But whatever we find when we get down there, I'm through looking the other way. Kisara. Probably getting a little ahead of myself, huh? Let's take things one step at a time. Yo, Alpha cannot handle deep conversations. Y'all notice how he always says the, says the person's name that he's talking to? Kisara. La. Rinwell. <laughs> <laughs> whenever he like whenever the conversation gets really deep he always says their name all right it's been a long and winding road getting here but in the end i'm glad we all met all right let's go man all right looks like we got to run back to the front of the ship i'm excited man let's touch down on lenigus and put an end to these renin's tyrannical behavior is everyone about ready 
We'll soon be making preparations to land. Before we do that, just what exactly should we expect when we get down there? Kisara has a point. Now that I think of it, I don't know the first thing about Lanigus. I'd like to hear more too. It's been centuries since I was last there, and they didn't exactly give me the grand tour. Very well. First and foremost, Lenigus is... was the base of operations in charge of the Crown Contest on Dana. Of course, it also happens to be a city in its own right, complete with its own independent society. Its social structure is based on a strict hierarchy. Put simply, the strength of an individual's astral arts carries great weight. Enough to determine someone's social rank, you mean? But astral arts are innate, right? So people's positions are fixed at birth. They can be honed with the right training, and there are admittedly other factors at play. But yes, that's basically the gist. As a result, family lines that churn out lords and their contenders wield disproportionate influence, and those lineages are treated as nobility. Those capable of only weak astral arts are effectively an underclass, denied the right to descend to Dana even if they wanted to. Still... Even the lowest rung on the Renan ladder is considered superior to being a Danon. Keep that in mind down there. Thanks for the warning. As a lord, Dohalim must have been pretty high up in the pecking order, right? What about you, Xion? Come on, you've seen her skill with astral arts. You really need to ask? Is he trying to play <laughs> Xion right now? On arts alone, you're right. I'd have been sitting pretty. But you're forgetting my thorns. They weren't exactly an invitation to high society. Uh, sorry. No, it's fine. It's refreshing to be around someone who says what they're thinking. Life's less complicated that way. For real. Jeez. Everyone should just be straightforward. Give backhanded compliments much? Wait a second. Are you? He is! Lost blushing! I am not! <laughs> Yo, Rinwell separating people into casts and Law have a thing for one another. I'm trying to tell y'all people, man. As if such simplistic criteria could ever be a measure of someone's worth. So this red woman, are we expecting to find her on Lenigus? I would wager so. Lenigus is too deeply involved in all this to discard the possibility. Chances are she's also connected to the Renis Alma being stolen from us in Pelegian. If the Renis Alma is being used to exploit Dana, we need to take it back at all costs. That red woman's got a lot to answer for. Just as well I've got a ton of questions. All right, here we go. I think we're, we're about, about to, to land. land. Yep. Descent could be a little bumpy, so brace yourselves. If there are clues about your thorns out there, Shion, we'll find them. All right, here we go. So we've been on Dana. We've been on Dana. Remember, Dana's Earth. This is Rena, the planet in space. So we've been on Dana since the game started, guys. So this is the first time we are setting foot on Rena, where Alfin and Xion and Dohalim is originally from. So let's go. There's no one here. I wasn't expecting a welcome mat, but still. Lenigus's infrastructure is largely automated. Besides, people won't be expecting incoming traffic while the crown contest is still underway. Do you think anyone realizes that we're here? We may not have received a royal welcome, but I doubt our entrance went unnoticed. Don't let your guard down. I really hope we don't have to fight anybody while we're here. So now what? We've come all this way on a hunch that this red woman is here, right? And if we're lucky, the Renis Alma too. Any idea where we should start looking? There is an area of the city that is accessible only to the Sovereigns, known as the Forbidden Zone. That seems as good a place as any for us to start. Forbidden? What are they hiding? I don't know, hence my desire to find out. Fortunately, we just so happen to have a Sovereign in our midst. In any case, 
Changing the shape of a huge structure such as Lenigus would have required an immense source of power. And you think that source might have been the Renis Alma? Precisely. Alfin said that he remembered the Renis Alma being used in the spirit channeling ceremony three centuries ago. Whatever the ceremony's purpose, if preparations are underway for it to be held once more, then the Renis Alma might be in the same place as last time, possibly together with the Red Woman. That's a great hypothesis. Hiding something of that worth in the residential quarters would only court trouble. In which case... It stands to reason we should be looking somewhere normally out of bounds. Is that it? Indeed. But it's been over 300 years since I was made a sovereign. You can't seriously think I'll be able to waltz right into the place after all this time. There's only one way to find out. Uh. If there's even a chance you can get us in, I say we give it a shot. Xion's right. Who knows? We might even find a clue to her thorns while we're at it. All right. It's not like we're swimming in leads, so let's try to track down the Forbidden Zone. Alfin is like, but it's my life on the line. I'm taking all the risk. Beyond that wall lies a city full of Renans. The capital city where Shion and Dohalim used to live, no less. Who knows what we'll find on the other side. Thinking about what could be lurking out here is giving me the heebie-jeebies. For such a loudmouth, you sure can be a worrywart at times. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me for wanting us to stay safe. Would you two children stop squabbling? Or do you want everyone to know we're here? <sighs> so how many Renans actually live in this place? I couldn't tell you exactly, though not as many as you might expect. Machines and Zoogles take care of most of the city's basic functions. There's Zoogles out here too, huh? Sounds like we can't afford to let our guard down after all. All right, I'm excited, man. Enough with all this talking. Let's let's freaking uh. Ooh, what's this? Berg volcano. Select destination. Berg volcano. Wait, what? We can go back to Dana already? Oh wow! Okay. Okay. Let's go to Lenigus. <laughs> All right, so we could instantly warp back to Dana. Okay. Let's save. It's been a while since I've saved. All right, let's go. Alright, these are the people in the white outfits, the Renans. Looks like they've been through some kind of a war, some kind of a damage. Lenigus, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, the hometown of Alfin, Shion, and Dohalim. This place is more like a spaceship though. I was kind of picturing like an actual planet like Dana. What in the world? This being Renan territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? When Lenigus changed shape, it must have had an effect on the interior, too. Ah, okay. Maybe when they sent the wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dohalim? Is that you? Oh boy, here we go. Avakir, I'm glad to see you're well. Oh, 
So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Clearly. Hey, Dohalim, don't tell me you've started keeping company with... They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far... Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? Trust me. The less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. <laughs> I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Oh, Let damn. alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... Fari, is this Dohalim's love I interest? I well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Alright, looks like Dohalim has a lot of back history that we don't know about. So who's Faria? La! <laughs> If what Avakir said is true, it would seem the people of Lenegus are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. They seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the Wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. While we're at it, we can ask them about the Red Woman too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone either. Let's leave the talking to Xion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. Alright, let's the talk to these citizens. We keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful lot of questions to answer. From how it looks, they must be siphoning off astral energy from Dana, and then sending it to Rena. But why do all this? What for? Surely they can't be using all that energy for the crown contest. Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know what their end game is. He's right. We need to stop this from happening ever again. This forbidden zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving! You heard him. You don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. How can we go so, if there's so many damn scenes? Do you think when Lenigus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? What do you mean? Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration to avoid all this chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? Sorry, that probably sounded weird, huh? <laughs> Not at all. Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This Big place facts. is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. 
Yeah, you're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. Well, Xion's been a lab experiment ever since she could remember, so of course, Lenegus is not gonna seem like a home that she can recall a lot of, so. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to these people. This man is healing. Or well, this woman, I should say, is healing people. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, dear me. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zoogles have stopped heeding our commands. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. Do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believed he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, First, Lanagus mutates beyond recognition. Now, this unexpected visit? The Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. Alright, so your man Dohalim is a celebrity. Okay. Okay, so this is someone who needs healing. You know what? Let's heal him. In all my years, never have I seen such potent healing arts. Thank you so much for taking the time to help an old woman like me. Fancy parfait recipe. A lavish parfait filled to the brim with fruit and cream, though extremely satisfying to eat. Eat in one wrist, developing more than a few cavities. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, there's a lot of these okay sort of like side missions that I gotta do in um healing these people and finding them. But I'll get back to doing all of that once we've concluded the main story of the game. We also gotta find the rest of the gigant uh animals the giant zoogles and find the remaining owls so yeah we'll get to all of that later your lordship oh what a great honor it is to finally meet you i descended to dana during the last crown contest also alas when the contender i was backing failed to clinch the title i returned i witnessed the deaths of so many slaves Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see- How ironic that Xion is wearing all red anyone like that hanging around the lord you were serving what's with all these questions i've never seen her okay not recently or otherwise why do you want to find her anyway never mind forget i asked sorry to take up your time all right so let's talk to the next person they seem to be over here Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Hmm? Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? 
I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohalin Ilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Alright, see, now I understand well, why the city for Dohalim is the man. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah. That one guy even said Zugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? Yeah, for real. The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the Lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid. Though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is. <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... <clears throat> no, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? No, I haven't. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... But no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenigus has ever been there? Hmm. Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. That's what I'm trying to say! But what about trade and communication? There's <clears> got <throat> to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the almighty Renin ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. Oh. I just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. 300 years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. 
Do you think Volron was made sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me... Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off-limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find it! Yo, so many questions. Guys, we're going to leave the video here for today. I'm going to go out on a hunt to say Alfin is the ruler of Rena, the planet, and Lenegus, where we are right now. Yeah, Alfin, you are the ruler. You've been asleep for 300 years, woke up on Dana. I think something happened where he lost his memory obviously um of of remembering that he is the ultimate ruler but that's my take on it guys we're gonna find out as we continue the storyline of tales of arise thank you for tuning in once again if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing smash that thumbs up button for your boy turn that bell on post notifications so you guys are aware of when i do upload these fire ass gameplay videos man with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next gameplay video peace out